starting a new series guys full disclosure i start lots of series i would like to say that generally i do finish them but we all know that there are many that i have started that i've either forgotten about or i've lost interest in or i've just run out of time to finish them so here's hoping that this one will not be one of those series <laughs> but regardless i am very very excited about this new idea that i have because it is painting around Chattanooga, um, as many sites and places that I can, because that is the place that I have decided to start my post-college art career in. And it's a really beautiful city. It's full of art and artists and trees and parks, cute coffee shops, cute tea shops, which I paint one of those in this video. So it's really the perfect place to do this. And once I get more accustomed to things like this, um, en plein air, painting on site, urban landscape painting, things like that. Once I get more uh, advanced in that area, I would love to film a video to show you guys some of my tips and tricks to do that. And hopefully I will have some tips and tricks to show you someday. But for now, I can direct you to a place where you can find videos on how to do things like this in the best way. And of course that place is Skillshare. It's that place online where you can find thousands of videos for creatives on how to do so many things. There are a lot of very knowledgeable people on Skillshare who are willing and ready to share that knowledge with whoever wants to watch. People like Khadija, who is a teacher and she has a class that is literally perfect for the topic of this video. It is all about painting landscapes outside on the spot with watercolors. And she does have the tips and tricks. She has the right materials, the right techniques, and I know you could learn a lot from her. And you can learn a lot from any teacher on Skillshare for any area of art that you want to improve in. And Skillshare is less than $10 a month with the annual premium membership and you can try it out for free if you click the link in my description. Quick edit guys, only the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership so make sure you go down and click as soon as you can. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring another video, now let's get into it. So we are currently in the town of Chattanooga city city of Chattanooga I have been painting all day I have decided that now that I'm out of college and I am totally responsible for myself and my own art practice I need to have one day of the week that is specifically set aside as a studio day for making art in all of its various forms and today I decided to do that by traveling around chat and just painting various places. This is my last stop today, but I have visited two other places before and we're gonna come back in a little bit, but for now we're gonna go to the first stop right now. The first place I'm painting today is right outside a few art shops on Brainerd Road. I was getting some prints made here recently and I was just drawn to the cute little shops along this street. So I made sure to come back and make this a stop during my painting day. For this first painting, I am using Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic Paint. I am not sponsored by them, but I totally should be because I am in love with this paint. It is what I used for my whole memorialized series because it goes on pretty opaquely, which reminds me of oil paint, but it dries quickly because it's acrylic paint. It's perfect for fast paintings like this one and the pieces in the Memorialized series. And as you can see, I'm also using a four by four inch wooden panel for this painting, just like I did for the series. 
I spent only about 15 to 20 minutes on this piece, but my legs were dying by the end of it. Like I actually could not feel them because I was crouching the entire time. But I was pleased with how the painting turned out. I want to become faster with these types of paintings so that it's easier to paint outside and around town. So this was a really good challenge for me. I roll. All right. A little different than all and now for stop two. This is one of my favorite places in chat. Wildflower Tea Shop. So freaking cute. The first time I visited this place, they had a big, beautiful flower mandala on the floor and fresh flowers all over the shop. They keep the place looking really nice and super aesthetic. It's a really pleasant place to work in or paint in and the tea is also really good. I got an iced pomegranate green tea and guys it is heavenly and also um, it was very hot that day so just drinking something cold was really nice. Because I could sit there in the store for a while I decided to use watercolors for this one and take on a full two page spread in my sketchbook. It ended up taking me about two hours to finish. I could have kept going and added more detail, but my car was parked in a two hour parking lot, so that made the decision for me. I actually got to meet someone, by the way, while I was painting here, which made it an even better experience, and that is definitely a plus of painting in public. It is a great conversation starter. Okay, and we're back to my last stop. Um, I'm in Coolidge Park right now, one of the best hangout, relax, kick a ball spots in Chattanooga. Great view of the bridge, but I don't think I'm gonna paint the bridge right now. I thought about it, but it is very, very basic. I wanted to capture the moment because that's what I do now <laughs> with my little panel paintings. So, I'm not going to paint the bridge. I decided to bring out the panels and acrylic paint again for this one. I mentioned the Memorialized series earlier, and for those of you who don't know what that is, I recently painted and exhibited 78 small pieces that focused on my experiences and memories during college. For that series, I painted from reference photos, but I would really like to explore painting from real life in the moment. So this is an effort in that direction. That's a wrap.